In this video, I'm going to show you how to nest together multiple if statements in one cell. But first, I'm just going to cover the if statement in case you've never used that function before. So the if statement allows you to evaluate a logical expression and then return a certain value if it's true or return a certain value if it's false. And so to use that, um, I'm just going to show you in this example, um, I'm going to go equals if, and then I'm going to check whether this cell is greater than five. And if that's true, I'm going to write yes. And if it's false, I'm going to return no. And just paste the formula down. So what it's doing is it's evaluating this logical expression. If this returns true, um, it's going to show this. If this expression evaluates to false, it is going to return this. So you can see all of the ones where the cell is greater than 5 return yes. If it's less than 5, it returns no. So that's the basic if statement. But what you can do is you can nest multiple if statements together. Um, so I have this example. So this is the syntax of the if statement again. Uh, but what you can do in your value if false, you can put an additional if statement. So um, in this example, I have several if statements nested together in one cell. So my first if statement is a2 equal to 1. If it is equal to 1, it returns 1. If this is false and this isn't equal to 1, it returns my value, which um, is another if. So if this value is false, then it runs this one, which is a2 equals 4. If that's true, it returns this. Um, the value of false is another if statement. So then it runs this logical expression. Um, if it's true, it'll return that. If it's false, it returns this, which is another if statement. And then if none of them are true, um, it will return this. So this is the formula I have here. Um, it's a little complicated at first. Um, but you can see um, it basically stops where the value is true unless it gets to the end and then it returns my value if false. Um, so it seems a little more complicated than it is. Um, if you're confused about it, you can read the blog post that I'll paste in the description. But again, basically all that it is doing is it's running my logical expression. If it's true, it's returning my value if true, if it's false, in the value if false, I have another if statement. And so it just keeps going on and on until it gets to false or true, basically. Um, so the next thing we have is the if statement, which is actually a better way to nest together multiple if statements. Um, so this is the syntax of this if statement. It's basically the same as the if statement. Um, first is my condition or my logical expression. If this is true, it's going to return this. But then I can put another um, condition or expression to check if this is false without having to do another if statement. So um, in this example, I have these different scores, and I'm going to grade them depending on um, the range of numbers they fall between. Um, so just to show you the formula, um, it's ifs this is less than 60, f. If it's not less than 60, check this condition. If this condition is met, return to this. If it's not true, check this next condition. So I'm just stringing these together and in that way, I'm able to quickly um, just grade these scores by using the if statement. Um, so those are just a couple ways to nest together if statements. Um, again, if you're confused, I'll place a link to the blog post in the description.
Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.